Tommy Burns makes his fifth defense of the world heavyweight title against British-born Gunnar Moyer. London, 2nd of December, 1907. So, final words of advice for Tommy Burns, the world heavyweight champion in the corner nearest to us, defending the title. He won in 1906. Jack Johnson wants to challenge him for this crown. It's maybe going to happen Sunday, but in the meantime, Burns is trying to get in as many defences as he possibly can, and here he faces James Gunner Moyer. Moyer from Lambeth. Only in his 16th professional fight. And on paper, this looks like an easy one for Tommy Burns, the Canadian. Moyer, though, bravely going forward. He's on the left-hand side of your picture now with the white band around his, around his trunks. Burns, the shorter man, only stands five foot seven. Very small indeed for a heavyweight. To some extent, Burns' career overshadowed perhaps by the man he followed, gentleman Jim Jeffries. Moyer working behind that left jab. Former Royal Marine from the Artillery Division and a former professional wrestler. Only had his first pro fight at the age of 24, Moyer. Burns already clearly fancying the job. Trying to go to work to the body, the champion, as Moyer holds on. Burns, a real powerful, stocky physique, broad shoulders, and great power in his legs. And they always say with the fighter that the timing and the punch power comes from the legs. And Burns, tremendously strong. Well, it's been a quiet opening round. Oh, good right hand from Burns, right into the body, followed up with a right hook. And Moyer has felt the power of the champion, and Burns getting through again with a solid left jab, which rocked back Moyer's head. And a big smile from Tommy Burns for his cornermen. He knows he's got the power after that opening round. 26 years old and senses he might be having another successful defence already. And so into the second. And Burns will have taken big confidence and a lot of heart from that right hand which he thudded into the ribcage and then the right hook over the top. And Moyer certainly didn't like it when he felt that leather pounding into his body. Moyer really telegraphed that right hand over the top. And Burns happy just to try and tie him up inside. Burns again, you can see, looking to unload that big right hand. Moyer, a wild left, was way off target. And Burns manages to tie him up so easily. <laughs> Referee, of course, at the National Sporting Club, officiating from his place outside the ring. Holding from Moyer, got him a ticking off. He's holding Burns behind the head and again. And Burns won't like that, there were punches round the back of the head. And again, holding round the back of the head from Moyer and that's outside the rules. 
Good right hand, though, from the British fighter. But again, he's holding on all the time round the back of the head, and there are people in the audience who are standing up and protesting, and rightly so, and there's the referee. He's saying to Moya, let's have this fight fought in the correct manner. That was for holding on with the left hand round the back of Burns' head, and now Burns is starting to tee off. Again, Moyer going in with that left hand around the back of the head of the champion. And he's getting away with it, and really this is outside the rules. Moyer trying to get Burns out of his stride. And again, he's holding on there, the left hand round the back of the head. And once again, crude tactics from Moyer. And fairly obviously a breach of the rules. Well, he gets away with it and the second round ends, but really Burns is in complete control. Third round. Nice right uppercut from Moyer, who's on the far side of the ring with the wide white band around the top of his trunks. Burns, the Canadian, the world champion. Big opening round. It was an untidy sort of second round, and now Burns is going back to his boxing skills, trying to get in and out and work behind that left jab. And again, there was holding from Moyer. It's an untidy fight. Good right hand, though, from Moyer. Burns has a good chin, though. Moyer got his chance by knocking out Tiger Smith in a British title fight. National Sporting Club prepared to put up the purse money as a result of that one. Burns, you can see all the time, is trying to tee Moyer up for the big right hand, the big right hook. And now it's Burns who holds on. Again, Moyer dragging Burns down behind the head. Left hand going round, and he's trying to pull him into the right hand. Uppercut from Moyer. And a good right hand. And Burns certainly felt that one. It's been a better round, this, for the challenger. Certainly his best of the fight so far. I suppose you could say, in Gunnar Moyer's defence, that with Burns being so low and boring in behind his head, difficult really to avoid getting into some sort of clash of heads or indeed fouling and again you see uh, him holding around the back of the head and he's unloading big right hands as he does so people at ringside maybe don't like to see it but Burns is in a little bit of trouble here in the third round well oh and the back comes Burns right over the top and Moyer's down he's down in the third and is he going to be saved by the bell they're in the closing seconds and he is well, Tommy Burns smiles to his corner again, just when Gunnar Moyer was having by far his best round. Burns puts him on the canvas. Now into the fourth. And surely Tommy Burns must sense that he can take his man out here, and once again he's straight onto the aggressive. And it doesn't really look as though Gunnar Moyer has got the artillery necessary to carry this challenge to the champion Burns again over the top with the right hand and he's looking for the knockout no question about it a little bit of an experience there in the third round for Moyer he was right back into it good right hand though again from Moyer there he was right back into it in the third and then just stood there waiting for Burns to come at him which the champion duly did and he paid the price
too often you get the impression that Moyer is waiting for Burns, waiting for Burns to come in and then trying to counter. Good right hand though, and again. If only he had had the confidence to continue to do that. Again now Moyer, as Burns leans on, he just pulls him down with that left hand and tries to unleash the right hook. But Burns has every appearance of being able to just walk straight through it. Moyer picking up the points, scoring shots, and a good right hand from Moyer. And a right into the body, as Burns just tries to get in close, head into the chest and takes another good right hand from Moyer. Burns trying to get in close to unleash those hooks, and this is good work from the challenger once again. Now, he doesn't want to get overconfident, but this is the best work that Moyer's done again for some time. Burns realising the danger, unleashes a sweet little right counter of his own. Good action in the fourth round. Again, though, you see Moyer holding on, dragging Burns down. Good body shot, though, from Moyer. And then wants to clinch again in close and try and pull Burns' head down onto his right uppercuts. Referee again is ticking Moyer off for that. The head of Burns as well is going th thudding into his face. You just wonder the further this fight goes whether or not cuts might be an issue. And there's the bell to end the fourth round. <laughs> round five. Burns forcing the fight, had his man down in the third. Already clearly in control. Burns fighting out that distinctive crouching stance. Took a right hand from Moyer, who again then gets in close and holds him round the back of the head and lands with a right hook. Two more good right hands from Burns. He's had his moments in this fight, but hasn't been able to maintain a consistent attack. Good right hand from Burns. This time, though, Moyer takes it. It's been the right hook which has really troubled the challenger. Great interest, of course, around Britain in this contest. A lot of clinching. James Moyer, who used to be a professional wrestler. Maybe he learnt a little bit there. Burns up onto his toes again. Trying to use his mobility, getting in and out and working behind that shorter lead, trying to negate the taller man's advantages. Good right hand once more from Burns, and Moyer's in trouble. It was a short, chopping right hand. Moyer's face beginning to mark up a little now, visibly. Bruising around the left eye. More holding inside. Really has been a very untidy fight, this one. Signs that Gunnar Moyer visibly tiring in this round. Greater accuracy coming from Burns, and that's another round, surely, to the champion. So into the sixth. Tommy Burns from Canada.
on the left-hand side of your picture, firmly in control. Looking very, very confident is Burns. Content to use his superior boxing skills now. He knows already he's got the power, and look at the mess around that left eye of Gunnar Moyer. Bruising around there. Blood as well on his face. And Burns seeing that is just trying to pick him off with the jab and just rack up the points. Truth be told, Gunnar Moyer from the word go has been outboxed here. A couple of jabs through from Moyer, but there's a bit of a slappy look about his work now. What snap there was seems to have just about gone from his punches. Right over the top again from Moyer, but no great power in there, and Burns was able to take it almost with contemptuous ease, turn his man, and then once again try to spear that damaged left eye with his left lead. Moyer needs a big shot here. Burns is going to have to get careless if Moyer's going to get back into it. Right body shot, but the left hook which followed up really was no more than a token effort. Burns winning this round clearly. And a big right over the top. Moyer's a strong man, no doubt about that. Again, trying to pull Burns in close. Right from Moyer, looked suspiciously low. No damage done, though. And a big attack again from Burns in the closing stages of this round. And that's another very, very clear round to the champion. And James Moyer is starting to look a rather disconsolate fighter. Seventh round, Moyer very slow to come off his stool. Even in the clinches now, Burns is clearly doing the better work. Two good fast hooks from the champion. And Moyer made to miss with his lunging follow-up. A predictability now about this fight. Moyer looking pretty negative. Almost as though he's now just bent on survival in there. And for Burns, it's turning out to be rather... A case of another day at the office. Another good payday and totally in command. Left to the body, followed by the left hook from Burns and then Moyer able to do no more than hold on. of these rounds has tended to be that Burns has just picked off Moyer in the opening periods and then launched the big attack in the closing stages. Well, are we going to see that again here in round seven? See, there's just nothing coming back from Moyer now. Wild, swinging, haymaking right hand, but Burns, needless to say, saw it coming a mile off. Gunnar Moyer on the left-hand side of your picture, just moving around with that white band, that white banding hanging down the back of his trunks. He's just soaking it up now. 
Burns, I'm sure, will be looking to try and tee him up for that big onslaught. Moya, 15 pounds, the heavier man at 192. But you wouldn't think so watching now. There again, you see Burns just bully the man backwards. Moya with precious little idea. Just waiting for Burns to come at him. And Burns has recognizes the fact and just stands up and say hey come on this is supposed to be a fight and then here come two right hands from Burns right on the bell and once again a clear round to the champion Tommy Burns so far ahead now that Moyer is going to have to knock him out no question about that And because of the holding, the referee is into the ring. Maybe as well because of the one-sided nature of this fight. Possibly not too far to go. And exhibition stuff from Burns. He's up onto his toes. And Moya is throwing absolutely nothing back. I suppose if you were to be hypercritical of Burns, this would underline the fact that he's not a big puncher. Referee's had enough of the clinchers, and rightly so, I think, because the crowd have paid to see action here, and too much of this fight has been in mauling, and you have to say that the culprit has been Gunnar Moyer, the challenger. Moyer's face, a terrible mess once again. Blooded now on both sides. Certainly not an occasion for the squeamish. Burns is just showboating now. Picking him off. Winning this fight more or less as he pleases. Moyer is bravely still in there, still on his feet, still trying to box. And there goes the head of Burns once again into Moyer's face, and the referee rightly steps in. Moyer clinching around the back of the head, the referee tells him off. Good right hand from Burns. Well, this might be the last throw of a desperate man now, as Moyer throws a big right uppercut. He'll be only too painfully aware of the damage to his face. And again, he bravely wades forward. He has been outclassed here, but he's still trying to carry the fight to Burns. And it was more of the same. Moyer now goes back to his corner, looking very much a man heading for defeat. Into the ninth round. Tommy Burns defending his title in London. And way ahead. Starting to look only a matter of time. Moyer again getting away with holding on round the back of the head and the referee really should step in and does so. Burns just looking for the opening for that big right hand. This time Moyer able to tie him up. A lot of people suggested that Moyer really shouldn't have had this opportunity for the world title. Only 15 pro fights before this, 12 of them victory. It's a huge step up in class. And Burns is looking to take him out. 
trying to plant himself, trying to get leverage for the big right. It's been a systematic and ruthless beating that Moya has had to endure. Well, you have to ask how much more of this can he stand? Token shots coming back from Moya and Burns when he does decide to open up, almost getting through at will. It's been a safety first sort of approach from Burns. He's not risked anything, had his man down early on and thereafter he's just racked up the points. Clumsy left lead from Moyer. Burns again. Showboating with the fancy footwork. Good right over the top and another one. Moyer takes them. But he's starting to look a little bit unsteady on his feet. And a big uppercut as well from Burns. Moyer is just bent on survival now. Burns taunting him almost, smiling at the blooded mask in front of him, which is Moyer's face. Faints to throw the right hand, then leads with the left. Moya utterly outclassed. Just his strength and determination keep him in going in there. Tired, so tired, coming forward still. And just being nailed by punch after punch, two lefts right on the bell. And that was as one-sided a round as you will ever see. Tenth round. Seconds a little bit slow to get out of the ring. Moya on the left-hand side of the picture. They've cleaned up his face a little bit. But for how long? And there again now, the blood starting to seep from his injured right eye. Only a matter of time. Tommy Burns, the heavyweight champion of the world, looking now as though he's going to take his title once again onto another platform. Moya almost turned away then when that right hand came in. I don't think he really has too much stomach for a great deal more of this. Burns just bullying him around the ring. Moya on unsteady legs. Comes forward with a right though, the challenger, into the body. But it was an ineffectual sort of effort. Burns trying to team off with the right hand, and here comes a big attack. Oh, right over the top, followed by a left hook. And is Moya going to be able to get up from that? It was the right hand once again which did the damage. There was a left hand in there, and Moya somehow bravely gets to his feet. And now Tommy Burns senses that the end could be near. Here in the 10th round, the Canadian is trying to end this one. Moya, something, somehow, is keeping him upright. He's surviving now on pure instinct. And another big right hand from Burns. Moyer's on rubbery legs. And Burns is unleashing another savage attack. Oh, and down goes Moyer again. Sheer exhaustion puts him down. Well, is he going to be able to get up? Surely not. Because he's taken a fearsome pounding and the referee's waving Burns in again. And Moyer has got to go down again. Surely this fight has got to be over any second. Burns reigns in another big right hand and Moyer's down once again. He doesn't know where he is and the corner men have got in. They want it all over. They've stopped it. They've said enough. And Gunnar Moyer's brave challenge is over and Tommy Burns is still 
the heavyweight champion of the world. Maybe the big test against Jack Johnson will come sometime in the future. For the time being, though, this Canadian, only five foot seven, but such a good boxer, has outclassed the brave James Gunner Moyer. He goes over to console him, but Tommy Burns is still champion of the world. Moyer was trying to become the first British heavyweight champion of the new century, but there was only going to be one winner here, and that was the man making his way back to his own corner, the Canadian Tommy Burns.